Shalom. Call Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Double honors to the teachers, the head apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutation to the whole elect. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in our truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. You know, in which we're going to entitle this, You Were Warned, you see, because the prophets here in America, Babylon the Great, constantly, day in and day out, week in and week out, warn you of the coming destruction that's to come here to America, man. Ultimately, warning you of the prophecies of Yahweh Shah. You see, one of those prophecies pretty much being a famine. You see, we constantly warn you of a famine coming to America, man. You know, and not as famine, the stage is being set where the famine is being pretty much displayed on a global scale. You got more articles dropping. You know, the news speaking about trucker shortages and supply shortages and inflations. You know, meat shortages. All these pretty much, well, all things pretty much go back to Yahweh Bashim Shah. You see, because the Lord spoke of these things from the beginning. All right, real quick, let's go here. Um, it's Isaiah... 46 and in verse 11 and he said declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done you see in which the famine is a thing that's not yet done you see this famine hasn't bloomed you know uh pretty much consumed america yet you see the people here still got convinced they still in they they still in disbelief because of the fact that McDonald's still on, you know, Walmart still getting trucks. You can still go to Publix, but you know suddenly, all these song places are gonna appear unsung, and then they gonna know that a prophet was amongst them. You know, so he said, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasures. You see, and one of those. Hey, hey, one of those pleasures is, you know, the Lord pretty much sending that famine. You know, let's go here. Uh, Isaiah 55 and verse 11. It says, so shall my word stand. It's like, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. And it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. You see? So the Lord pretty much spoke of this famine, man. You know, um, let's go here real quick. Uh, what is it? Ezekiel chapter 5 and verse 16. He said, when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will uh, increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. You see, your staff of bread pretty much goes into uh, your, your support. You know, your wick, uh, food stamps, you know, any type or form of government assistance. You know, the Lord's going to break your staff of bread. So he's going to take away your convenience, man. You know, because a hey, section eight, you know, and all these government assistance pretty much a convenience to Jake. You know. Verse 17, he says, so will I send upon you famine and evil beasts and they shall uh, breathe thee and pestilence and blood. To pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it, you see. And this, and, and the, the word of the Lord is not going back unto him void, man. You know, his word is going to stand. Let's go here real quick. It's the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 8. He said, the grass withereth, the flower faded, but the word of our power, your power shall stand forever. You see, so the Lord is not at all going to change his mind. I'm sending a famine to America, man, which this famine is going to contribute to a lot of great evils and death and mourning, pain, anguish, you know, sign and crime, man. You know? And you see this famine on a global scale being talked about. Empty shells are spreading from coast to coast and concern is growing, you see? In which these Americans not taking this famine as serious as they should, you see, because, like I see. McDonald's still on, man. You know, Burger King and shit still on. So they feel as if they can still get a happy meal. That a famine not coming. But suddenly, those those trucks, those trucks are going to start running. These stores are going to start closing down. All these help wanted signs, 
now hiring signs are going to soon turn to closing soon signs, uh, going out of business sign, store closing April 3rd, April 4th, you know. So you say empty shelves are spreading from coast to coast and concern is growing. Then your concern is going to start growing when you see uh, uh, your convenience stores going out of business. You know, your, your gas station shut down. You see in which that just goes back to uh second Ezra, the sixth chapter, the twenty second verse, it's saying, Suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You see, so all this is gonna happen all of a sudden. And you know how you Americans are, man. You know, you start panic buying. You know, you start to buy five cases of water, ten packs of meat, you know, so these stores are gonna be unsown very quick, man. You know, this is going to happen quick. You see, because n niggas, y'all panic by. You see? So that's going to cause these, that's going to cause a, the uh, lack of goods. And it's going to make these evils increase. You see, real quick, let's go. Uh, Where is it? Yeah, uh, second edge is 15 in verse 15. Matter of fact, I'm starting at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. You see, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe meaning death and destruction, you know, to the world and them that dwell therein. So pretty much those who are following under the system of the so-called white man, you know. He said, for uh, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people should stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. You see, that's going to get to these, you know, militia groups, you know, foreign troops and martial law troops. You know, he said, for there should be sedition amongst men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the courses of their actions shall stand in that power. You see, because people are going to start doing Walmarts. They're going to loot your home, loot gas stations. They're not going to care about a 911 call, man. You know, he said, man should desire to go into a city and should not be able because it's going to be chaos in these cities, man. No, they're going to be it's going to be martial law. You see, he said, for because of their pride, their city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbors, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods, you see. So they're going to be loom your house, man. With the sword, with the sword can be any type form of weapon, man. You know, breaking your house, breaking your house with a crowbar, a bat, a gun, you know, and spoil their goods. Then they take your, take your stuff. Take your resources because of lack of bread and great tribulation. You see, because of that lack of bread, because of that famine, you know, that famine is going to increase a lot of uh, a lot of evils here in the last days. man. You know, let's go here real quick and pour this scripture in a minute. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, OK, it's locking. The water y'all by Shemel Shah is second Israel's 1850. It said, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, you see. And uh that family is gonna contribute to these miseries, man. You know, when you can't get no food. You see, when you, when the places that you normally go to for for a steak or ground beef, you know, that shit gonna be high as hell, fifty dollars for a, a a pound of ground beef. Six a hundred and fifty, you know, stuff is gonna start going up, man. You know, go back to these articles. It say food industry, uh, food industry insiders are warning that supplies will get even tighter in the weeks, uh, in the weeks ahead. You see, so the a price is gonna start going up, man. You know, that famine is gonna consume a lot of people, man. You know, a lot of people are going to die from the famine, whether it be you starving or whether it be just somebody killing you, trying to eat you, man. You know, there's another one. It's a basic service and supply chains are rapidly breaking down all over the globe. You see the stores closing, going out of business. You know, you're going to start seeing a lot more of these signs, man, in the coming days. You see, everything pretty much still at flow right now. But, but soon, man. You know, soon all these e when these eaves increase, these stores gonna close down. The, uh, it's not gonna be no more food, no more medicine. You know, and you're gonna see, man. You know, 
they say meat, eggs, and potatoes are all coming up short as stores report bare shelves amid Omicron cases. You see, and that's and that that's the pestilence. You know, let's go here. Um second Ezra's fifteen and forty nine. You see, he said, I will send plagues upon thee, which this Yahweh uh, Shah. Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shah. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. You see, widowhood, women not going to have husbands, boyfriends, you know, the, uh, the younger women not going to have dads and all. Poverty, jobs going to be shut down. People, they got mass evictions. They putting people out of their houses. People going to lose their homes. You know, you're going to lose your apartment. You know, famine, sword, and pestilence, you see? To waste our houses with destruction and death. You know, and these are the things pretty much coming to America. You see, these evils are going to increase, man. You know? And they say China is fervently preparing for the coming global famine, but the U.S. is taking a completely different approach, you see, because the U.S. is not concerned, man. These Americans are not concerned because they never seen perilous times. They never seen evils, you know, they never seen, uh, which evils, you know, uh, Eve going to bad, uh, Eve going to time and ill going to bad, man. You know, so they never, pretty much America never seen bad times. You no know, scripture say, I see, the, I see the queen and am no widow, and she see no evil, and she see no sorrow, so like it, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So these Americans never really seen sorrow, you know, so they're not going to take the famine as being something serious because we're the greatest, most wealthiest country in the world. You know, well, you already in GMOs, you know. So how much more for when that stop, you know. But this is what you got coming, man. You know, and if you don't repent, you're going to die. You see, the only way to escape these evils is to repent. You know, let's go here. This is the book of uh, Psalms 33 and verse and verse uh, 18. You see, because everything is a good and a bad. The bad thing, the good thing is, you know, you can be preserved from these evils. You know, you can be preserved from the famine. But the bad thing is if you don't repent and start fearing the Lord and come back to you, how about Shemel Shah, that famine and these evils, the uh, pestilence, may, you know, it's going to overtake you, you know, and it's, you're going to die. You see, so this uh, Psalm 33 and 18, Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. You see, so you got to fear the Lord, man. That's the only way for you to escape these troubles is fearing your how by Shania was shot. You know, but Lord, when those edifying to the elect and to those to seek the words of how about you now for comforting. You know, Lord willing to next time I say, hey, first and foremost, give it all undergoing praise to you. by Hashem Yahusha. Call Allah Yah how about Shem Yahusha by Hashem Rahakudash. Lord willing to next time say Shalom DTA, a Baba Baal, Shalat Rayon to America soon.